I never expected this. The entire planet so silent and so still for so long. Our kids out of school, our windows looking out at a world now almost out of reach. In normal times, I would have jumped in the car, driven to Montreal, to downtown and people and busy streets. But my city, like most cities, is badly broken and trying to mend. So for now, there is this. This house, these rooms, this family. Every shoot has a framework that's like an equation. Indoors plus five people plus the GF30. This would be the canvas and the brush I'd be using. So how do you do this? Well, you make sketches and you jot down notes. You try to pre-visualize where this will lead. It's likely to change along the way, but that's fine. You kind of want accidents to happen. The first images with any lens are always tentative. It's like putting on a new pair of eyes. How much can we see? What does the world look like now? And the only way to answer those questions is to try. As you work with it, you begin to understand the point of view, the way the lens renders backgrounds at wide apertures, how it looks stopped down. Your reflexes adjust. You try different things. You experiment to see where it takes you. You look closely. You look at the ordinary. And it's all transformed. And you do all of this right up until you're ready. I've been documenting our lives for many years now. But kids grow up and they eventually need their own space. So as a parent, you retreat at some point. You have to. But this project gave me an opportunity to capture who the five of us are now in this moment. The 24 millimeter field of view of the GF30 led me to shoot environmental portraits. And I use the 65-24 ratio on these as well to add a sort of cinematic feel to the images. A certain transitory element like subjects caught mid-sentence. A reflection of uneasiness or uncertainty. For my own portrait, I went back to those first experiments. Plexiglass, a spray bottle. And then I went hiding behind sunglasses and abstraction. I never expected this. None of us did. But the times will change again. And beauty will be revealed.